if it is zoned commercial, then would the access still be cut across Woodburn? Yes, Mr. Mayor, members of the council, we would expect, and I add my voice to engineering, access on the Woodburn would always have been anticipated, okay. regardless of the use of this site. Thank you. One of our concerns is on the western access, where that lines up with that existing median break. Will the, and we don't know the answer to this because we have not seen the traffic impact analysis yet. This is all speaking from, um, from engineering intuition, let's call it that. Um, that intersection may or may not warrant a signal, depending on the volume and safety aspects. There's several aspects that, that warrant a signal. If a signal was warranted there, that would create a situation because that signal would be too close to the first and tangerine signal. So there's a safety concern there. We don't know what that answer is. I'm not saying that I'm against access onto uh, tangerine. Presently, I don't know if ADOT will allow it. They haven't so far. Uh, Mr. Olin has stated that they're almost there. Um, when they get there, then they're there. Uh, but presently today, as we, as we sit here, it's not allowed. If it does get allowed, and we do have that full access, one of my concerns, again, as, as your engineer, is whether a traffic signal would be warranted there. Would there be enough safety concern? Darting all the way across Tangerine, it's, it's an issue. Um, with regard to Woodburn, again, Woodburn was always designed to have the capacity of not only, the, not only a commercial site here, but an entire apartment complex to the north. It's always been designed. The, the capacity is there from a engineering and a theoretical standpoint. However, and I think the residents, every resident here can attest to it. I've, been, I've driven on Woodburn many a time. Um, there is a congestion problem there. But a lot of that congestion problem has to do with the configuration of the intersection. If that were cleaned up, if Woodburn was actually widened, and again, this would fall on the, on the traffic analysis that the developer would be responsible to do, they would have to mitigate whatever traffic concerns there are. So I don't know if speaking right now, let's just say hypothetically ADOT says no and, they, and we have to allow access onto Woodburn, be it commercial, be it apartment, whatever, whatever's approved to go on there, um, there might be a situation where they have to widen the road like it is just up to the north to provide a, a two-way left turn lane, or a twiddle, as we call it. Um, th this is all conjecture, again, without seeing a traffic impact analysis, without having them do an analysis on the configuration of Woodburn. However, moving the intersection south would clean up a lot of issues, and we look at it from a regional standpoint. So I would like to make one clarification, for, again, for the audience. Uh, my suggestion on the realignment of Woodburn wasn't to realign Woodburn down south to where the existing Safeway entrance is, the northernmost entrance on Safeway. The realignment I'm talking about is about approximately 30 feet so that a road could be constructed or a drive aisle through the vacant parcel to connect to Safeway and then limit that existing Safeway to a right in, right out. It will be developed. Now, from that perspective, we have to say, when it's developed, what are the legitimate issues? Okay, one definite legitimate issue that's been brought up today is traffic. There have been a lot of good comments about even if there's no access to Woodburn, what situation will be created on Tangerine? Part of the difficulty is, once again, is since we haven't go gone through a detailed analysis, we don't know the answer to that. So we can't put conditions onto it. No matter what goes there, we do have to address the traffic problem on this. There's more information needed here. I'm not sure that we have the information to make a final decision 